I love pixel art games and to be honest every medieval and fantasy game with this graphical style has something unique. There is something that makes this type of game perfectly align with this type of graphical style. So you guys voted for this video and you can vote for another one in the community tab. I already made a video about medieval pixel art games so if you want to discover even more great titles then go and watch it, the video will be linked in the comments. Let me take you on a great journey now but before we start don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. Also tell me what game is your favorite. Anvil Saga is rather an interesting title, it is a management sim with RPG elements where we take control of a blacksmith shop. We will build the smithy of our dreams, we are able to construct new rooms and underground facilities to expand our business. Kitchen, living quarters, logging shops, we can build what we actually need. Apart from that we have to basically run our business, happy customers with fulfilled needs, good relationships and for most decisions we make are very important. They will shape the story and have consequences. We will manage orders, try to increase our prestige level to attract various important NPCs, hire our employees and so on. This is your medieval blacksmith management sim with a fantasy twist. This is a game where you can chill, seriously. There is No Light is a very dark and grim RPG where the remains of human civilization build a new religious society among the ruins of the desolated underground. This game is very unique and dark, featuring a gorgeous pixel art style, smooth animations and the very well made locations. We play as a hero on a quest through these hostile worlds to find a way to open the gates of the sanctuary and bring our child back. We will be able to explore, find new NPCs, complete quests and fight monsters. Combat is in real time and we can end a must and adjust our fighting style to every foe and boss. We are able to switch between four main weapons and this game is actually amazing. And if you want to try something a bit serious, this can be what you are looking for. Chronicon is one of my favorite games on this list. The magical device known as the Chronicon is able to transport us into the souls and the memories of fallen heroes, allowing us to relive their grand tales. This is a very fast paced game with procedurally generated world. We can play as the Templar, Berserker, Warden and Warlock and go slay enemies. This game is for someone who is interested in very long and almost endless gameplay. Hundreds of enemies, items with randomized stats, almost 1000 skills and abilities and perks, along with an infinite character progression system make this game a gem for people who just love slaying enemies, looting items and leveling up. There is also crafting in this game, so you will be able to improve your gear as you like. Chronicon is a very well made game, a very specific title to be honest, with a great pixel art style. Just give it a try, you won't be disappointed. Alterium Shift is a retro-inspired JRPG that offers a new adventure with every playthrough. This game has a very unique graphical style as it is a 2.5D pixel art game and I love the idea. We can choose and play as one of three unique characters, Pyra, Atlas and Sage. They are the equivalent of your three holy classes, Warrior, Archer and Mage. Each character offers a different playstyle and has different abilities that will help us journey through the map. As we explore we will meet new and diverse characters, find loot and hidden treasures, take on new quests, go fishing and much much more. The combat system on the other hand may not be for everyone as it is turn based. I love it. so. It is not a problem for me, but I know some people don't like it. What is also very important is that the developer says that every playthrough won't be the same because of dynamic quests and branching storylines, so the game offers a new experience with every playthrough. This game is still in early access, so keep this in mind. World of Antera is the only upcoming game on this list. This is a modern pixel art RPG game with open world adventures. This game is often described as a pixel art Skyrim and I am here for it. The game features a handcrafted open world, deep progression systems, fast paced combat and rich lore, all wrapped in a satisfying and tactile interface. 
Combat is grid based and it will be as simple as using one button to finish low threat fights, which in my opinion is great. I don't really like running through low level monsters and sweating because I have to focus on combat with rats. Of course, more challenging encounters will require you to focus and strategize your decisions. What is interesting is the massive world that is open to us hidden locations, dynamic scenarios, and so much more. Of course, I have to say that I love the pixel art style, it looks good, and to be honest, I love every pixel art game and I will always praise this graphical style. So yeah, this game looks great, and I wish developers all the time, motivation and resources to deliver us a great game. Graveyard Keeper is one of the most well-known titles on this list, if not the most. This game is often brought up when talking about games like Stardew Valley, and this happens for various reasons. This game is actually very dark, so it may not be for everyone. We play as a Graveyard Keeper, and our job is to take care of the graveyard and the dead. We will run our business, get to know people and figure out things that happen along our way. We will have to take care of bodies, bury them or dispose them in the river, and over Overall, take care of the charge and graveyard to please people. There is a lot going on in this game, we will explore various locations, help people with their problems, acquire workers for our estate in various ways and so on. This game is very unique, dark but also fun, so if you have the opportunity then give it a try, I think you will like it. Chained Ecos is a story-driven JRPG where you play as a group of heroes on a quest to end the war between three kingdoms. You will explore the continent of Valandis, where you will travel through a wide array of diverse landscapes created in a beautiful pixel art style. I mean, this game really looks amazing with its 16-bit style, great animations and stunningly created environments. Characters, weapons, lands, monsters, it all looks amazing. Now let's talk about the gameplay. This is purely a medieval fantasy RPG with monsters, dragons, magic and other similar elements. Combat is turn-based, which is something that I personally love and is a big part of old RPG games. The game offers a lot of items to gather, steal or craft, there is also a complex skill and equipment system. The game serves as a love letter to old school RPGs, so if you are looking for a Final Fantasy or Chrono Trigger vibe, you will have a blast playing it. The Last Spell is a tactical pixel art RPG game where your job is to defend your town against hordes of deadly enemies. During the day you have time to upgrade your town, build defenses, gather resources and strategically place your characters to defend yourself through the night. You can fully customize your characters by improving their statistics, choosing skills and abilities and creating your own class. You are able to recruit team members and they will level up during nights as you fight off monsters. You can also aid yourself with siege machines and walls to create additional defenses and improve your chances of survival. When night falls, the real fun begins. You have to fight off hordes of monsters that grow stronger with each passing night, but with gather resources, equipment and your characters gaining more experience, you will become stronger. This game is really challenging and has a vibe similar to They Are Billions and it's a lot of fun. Sea of Stars is a modernized RPG that combines nostalgia with innovative gameplay elements. Developed by Sabotage, it promises a touch of the signature style in every aspect of the game. The turn-based combat system introduces timed hits and multi-character combo attacks, offering strategic options to hinder enemies. There are no random encounters or separate battlefields, creating a seamless and immersive experience. The navigation system breaks free from traditional grid-based movement, allowing players to swim, climb, vault and jump through the world. The game's custom-made renderer pipeline pushes the boundaries of 2D pixel art, creating a visually breathtaking world. With dozens of original characters and captivating story arcs, Sea of Stars explores classic themes of adventure and friendship while delivering unexpected twists. Additionally, players can engage in various activities, such as sailing, cooking, fishing and playing tabletop games, to provide a change of pace. Sea of Stars respects retro classics while incorporating modernized features for a smooth and enjoyable experience. And before we jump to the number one, I prepared some bonus games for you.
And last but not least is Stone Shard. This is my favorite game on the list and I will tell you why. This gorgeous pixel art game is as satisfying as brutal it is. This is not your typical RPG game but a challenging and satisfying experience. You will have to think a lot and be careful. This game is about a medieval mercenary. Travel across the War Kingdom, fulfill contracts, fight, mend your wounds and develop your character without any restrictions. There is no hand holding and the game will punish you for your bad decisions. The key to survival is to prepare for the expedition. If you want to go hunting, you have to use something that will not destroy the animal hide. If you take damage, you have to have something to cover your wounds. There is a location damage system, so if you have a wounded arm, for example, you won't be able to fight as well. You have to sleep, drink, eat and take care of your sanity. This is a game where you can die quickly, very quickly, and you have to think about what you would do in real life. Do you want to cross a river? Then take off this big armor, because you will drown. There is so much going on in this title and it is still in development, so a lot changed when I first played it. Give it a try, if you want to play something more serious. It is a great game, trust me. And that's everything that I prepared for you today. I hope you found some great new games to play and to add to your wishlist. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with great new indie games and great new releases. Tell me which game from this list you like the most and thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.